Hello, I'm Satori. Um, this is my first art video, and I wanted to give you a tour around to my favorite uh, thing that I have crafted so far. Um, for a bit of context, I play on a PvE private server, um, so it's all very happy and friendly and low stress, so I'm actually able to build things like this. Um, it took about two weeks of planning and about six weeks of actual assembly time. Uh, and to give you an idea of where we are, um, this is on the center island, and it's fairly central to the map. We wanted this to be our primary base of operations, so we had access to all the different parts of the island, but to have this as a central home base. Uh, so, we come down here, you can see we built uh, a bit of a, a outer gate. This is a handy way for you know visitors to come in and out to create a bit of an airlock for dinos and that sort of thing, loading and unloading. Um, we have convenient spots above the gate from which we can um, deal with any dinos that get close to the entryway. Uh, from here we go into the main hall. Uh, you'll see this actually come up a bit of places, and this this is uh, one of the sloppier bits of work, but we have keypads around uh, primarily to uh, act as light switches. So there are different light zones throughout the castle, um, each on different key, key bindings. Uh, we have the entryway set up with the plan of collecting artifacts, though we haven't collected more than three so far. Uh, but you can see the empty pedestals where the other remaining artifacts can go. Uh, as well as wall spaces and our heavily fortified windows. Um, the wall spaces in between are where our trophies can go. We have a few locations where we've placed maps. Only one of them so far has been filled out with my many build projects. Um, from here, I'll take you into the living quarters. So the living quarters come in three forms. We have the executive suites upstairs, which actually have balconies. So these are the upstairs. They're a little bit narrower. Um, by a quirk, you have to duck to get under the metal roof, but still. Uh, balcony looking over the inner courtyard. We'll look at that more later. Downstairs, we also have the bungalows little house-like rooms. Uh, this one is unclaimed. This is the corner suite with view of the courtyard. And then we also have the, uh, the garden, room view, garden view rooms which have a double high space, more room for double occupancy, that sort of thing. We do have some couples in our tribe who like to share space. Uh, this is our council table. Uh, so next we'll go into the central courtyard. This is where we have the garden set up. Irrigated on the sides nine plots in the center, nice and open to the air. Fertilizing, uh, fertilizer being crafted, as well as our seed box, uh, which brings us into the crafting suite. So uh, as you can see, this also connects out to the, the entryway. We have uh, a general swap box, uh, preserving bins for making jerky, This is the tribe food box. This is where we'll, we'll store materials uh, so people can pick up things that they're going to take out when they're traveling. Preserving boxes for jerky. Obviously, cook pot with convenient water access. Industrial grill. 
Um, this is our special food and meat, so this is the sort of thing that would go into kibble, um, not for general consumption. Uh, and this is the egg bin for preserving eggs. Uh, we have dye boxes, always important for the crafts. Uh, the gas box right next to our fabricator. Um, so this was actually built before the industrial forges and bits came out. This was uh, actually built last fall. I'm only just getting around to making the video now. Uh, so we have our smithy. We have uh, a few mortar and pestles around, you'll see. Uh, several refining forges and our primary storage boxes. So a small box for components. Uh, and then generally I like to sort uh, resources into the three categories. So mineral, animal, and vegetable. From here, there's a handy catwalk that will lead up to the airy, and I'll show you that a little later. Uh, campfires down the middle for heat and for food. Uh, this area generally gets hot, so it's not usually needed for heat, um, but it is handy if you want to mass produce charcoal before the industrial forge came around. Um, in the back room here, we actually have our storage space. So uh, tools, weapons, and ammo, uh, saddles, uh, armor and structures, and then the back is for the blueprints. Sorry, and all of these storage boxes are for blueprints, not for actual items. The actual items are stored in different various places. Uh, in the back, by the stables, we have our taming supplies. So this is where we'll keep um, saddles that we're about to use, uh, or any narco, that sort of thing. Um, so this is the stables for the smaller land mounts. Um, our tribe is relatively small, so it was designed only enough space for each of us to have two or three uh, ground mounts in the stalls. Uh, you can see my, my packy, my wolf, and my, my toad hanging out, being friendly. Um, above the stable, we have the airy. And the ladder doesn't want to work for climbing because I'm looking at it from the wrong side. So up above we have the top platforms for Akutsas, uh, which as you can see, every time the server gets restarted they get a little bump forward. Um, the lowest, the, we have smaller ones for uh, Tyranodons. Uh, the upper ones are sized more for uh, RGs. Um, I left my RG out front. Uh, so this, and this is where um, the map that I've actually marked with all of my build sites. And again, a lovely view of the garden, which admittedly looks a lot nicer when it actually has stuff growing in. Uh, so next I'll take you out to the back courtyard. So the courtyard runs all the way around, and we have uh, some of our grazers uh, roaming and doing maintenance. Uh, you can see all along the perimeter wall we have these uh, handy uh, outlet chutes. Uh, these allow you to actually um, engage dinos if you want to. The uh, plan was that they could eventually have turrets in them if we wanted them. Each corner has a watchtower. Plenty of windows for light and visibility, uh, plus a nice space from which you could work. Um, it was designed such that you could run the entire perimeter, so there are ladders and drop down spots for each. The, uh, the primary rear gate. is out the back, access to the stables. Um, this is all sized for smaller dinos inside, so uh, the Rex and Spina that I keep on this site are staying outside, um, which is actually kind of convenient because they hunt for a lot of their own food. And this is very good hunting grounds, although there are a lot of smaller carnivores down the beach. Uh, they're no match for the T-Rex. Uh, this is also a very big spot for Brontos, so it's not unusual to see uh, four to eight Brontos in the immediate area. Uh, so we also have a side gate, which is 
handy for letting out onto the beach and for heading down to the swamp, which actually starts right around the corner in the river there. Um, this was also built to have access to interior portions so you can get inside the wall. Um, this was especially important because when it was being built there was a common glitch where if you were to, say, log out up in the tower, you could wake up inside of a structure. And since this is all built to have a feeling of being three-dimensional, um, there's a lot of spaces in which you could get inside of. Now, something I really want to highlight, because it took this was a, a big part of the planning, um, piping and wiring, of course, is very ugly, because um, it's all very rigid and angular. But you'll notice you haven't seen any pipes or any wires. The most you've seen is just a little bit of a wire heading to an outlet. So I want to show you how I accomplished that. Um, this has everything to do with the subfloor. Uh, so you can see this whole structure is actually not at all built on a flat. Um, the total footprint of the base is about 40 by 40. Um, but obviously there are no 40 by 40 flats in the game at the moment. Uh, so in the basement you can see the vault for stashing things. Um, also, incidentally, right next to the vault there are some secret doors. I actually really appreciate how the metal doors blend in really well to the metal walls. So it's really unobvious, but still gives you a, a different way to get in for whatever reason you may have. Uh, each of the towers, um, I believe each of the towers, also has basement access for the ones that don't sit directly on the floor. Uh, makes for uh, convenient basement access if you need it. And part of what I used the basement for was actually to construct the utilities. So you can see up above all of the wires running um, and pipes where they're needed. Uh, so I actually spent a fair amount of time creating the electrical grid so that I could put outlets uh, wherever they were needed. Uh, the generator, meanwhile, was placed all the way in the back so that the uh, noise pollution that it creates wouldn't be audible when you're in most of the core parts of the base. Um, there's also a convenient access door back here uh, for jumping in and out for refueling. Uh, I've actually let it run cold, <laughs> otherwise normally it would be powering everything. Um, and then something I did to help with the higher floors was I actually created um, utility access. So this would let me get the outlets and the wires and the pipes up to the second floor, um, which is not quite as neat because uh, the, the vertical stretch on the wires and the pipes doesn't quite correspond to the vertical stretch of the wall panels. But overall it came out very nicely. I really appreciate how it is. And <laughs> yeah, here you go, you can see part of the problem with bodies hanging through the floor. <laughs> and here down to the front gates. So this is my iron castle, my major project. Um, I'm very proud of how it turned out and I've learned a lot of things since. I learned a lot of things in the building process to actually uh, get this to this point. But uh, if you like it, like it. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, curiosities, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Here's one last aerial view.